early Sunday morning, the first day of the week for the Jews, and the time is around 4 a.m. Joseph of Arimathea has spent a sleepless night and is awake at his dining table. Nicodemus, Joseph's friend, comes to the door overwhelmed and unable to sleep as well. Both the men are members of the Sanhedrin and are secret disciples of Yeshua. These men cleaned the wounds and scars of Yeshua and embalmed his body and laid him in Joseph's garden tomb. Nicodemus, Shalom, Joseph. Uh, shalom, my friend. What are you doing here this hour? I'm up for the same reason as you are. I couldn't catch a wink, my friend. Do you know what day it is? Uh, yes, yes. It's, it's the first day of the week. It's, it, it's Sunday. Exactly, Sunday. It's Sunday. It's been three days, Joseph. <sighs> Nicodemus, I know it's been three days since we buried Yeshua. What does that have to do with anything now? Joseph, do you not remember? He said, in three days, the Son of Man will rise again. Nicodemus, you and I saw his body. We cleaned the wounds, the blood stains, the clots, the bruises of that man. We were in clear violation of the Levitical law. You yourself bought him a hundred pounds of myrrh and aloe to anoint him. We wrapped him up in fine linen and we placed him in my family's tomb. And then we rolled a huge stone and we sealed that tomb. Do you remember how many of us it took to roll that stone? Yes, I remember. But Do you remember? It took six of our servants, including the both of us, just to roll that stone against that tomb. And, 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 and now because of Caiaphas, there are Roman soldiers guarding that tomb. I remember. Look, what was done to that man was beyond preposterous. It was beyond Jewish cynicism. It was beyond Roman barbarianism. <laughs> Even the pagans give the enemies a better send off into death. But he was no ordinary man, Joseph. An ordinary man does not refuse to fight for his own life. An ordinary man does not take the false testimonies and shame of men. Yeshua was different from all the men of God we were taught about. My friend, I agree with you. One attempt to seek clemency or pardon from Pilate would have been enough to have set him free. Yet he refused. I only hope Yahweh took pity on Yeshua as Yeshua trusted him till the grave. I, I apologize for my agitation, dear friend. It's just that it's just that I remember his face. His beard was ripped off his face. <laughs> and that is still unsettling for me. <laughs> My friend, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I apologize for my outburst. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can I get you something? Is something warm would be fine. Very sure. See, Joseph, what do you remember of him? Uh, what do you mean, Nicodemus? Well, we followed him secretly for over two years now. 
hiding amongst the crowds watching him do miracles miracles that would even surprise Moses and Abraham indeed nothing short of the glory of Yahweh yeah and 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 and, and the people you know they gravitated towards him true true to uh do, do, do you remember Mary Mary of Bethany ah yes the woman who perfumed his feet with alabaster yeah a jar full of alabaster uh nicodemus what was your most favorite moment with yeshua joseph what is this this is like asking if i have a favorite eye or a favorite child okay 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 well you know what i mean i'm asking you what was your most fondest memory of yeshua naturally it will be that one on one session we had once after dark remember the only those who are born again shall enter the kingdom of heaven remember that one <laughs> remember ah <laughs> uh, your mother was so shocked that you asked yeshua if you should crawl back into her womb ah <laughs> uh, yes. hey but do you want to know my favorite memory of yeshua tell me jesus uh it was the one where he missed the 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 burial service you know Lazarus burial service and he came a few days later he came to the memorial service he came there and said Lazarus come forth do you remember that i remember oh my god that man stank so bad Oof. people are probably looking for john the baptist just to dunk him in the river jordan to wash the smell off ah, absolutely <laughs> Yeshua always did the marvelous, didn't he? No, my friend. The impossible. True. Perhaps this time he will come back from the dead. <laughs> I don't know, old friend. After spending years under different rabbis, after reciting the Torah, the prophets, I don't really know why Yahweh would allow upon us such hardships. I mean, haven't we suffered enough? 400 years under the Egyptians 200 years without a king and then came king Saul king David king Solomon and then many after him and then the exile to babylon the the destruction of our most holy and sacred temple and then came the rebuilding of our city the rebuilding of our temple you know what Sometimes I just think Yahweh is fed up with us. We spurn him in his blessings. We spurn the people he sends to us for us. We pretend to follow his word to every yot and tittle just to make a lavish living for ourselves and to get the choicest of offerings for our dining. My friend, you mentioned so many hardships, so many hurdles, so many closed doors and disappointments. but you forgot the most important part of all what is that nicodemus you forgot that god conquered through everything not in spite of all the hardships but through them you mentioned 400 years of slavery in egypt forgot the our nation was birthed in the cocoon of egypt you forgot moses and the 10 plagues and our people walking out of egypt with all of egypt's wealth in gold and stone and god marching our people through the red sea and for every day in the desert yahweh provided from the heavenly realms you mentioned 200 years without a king but you forgot some of the finest leaders were raised in that era heroes of old Debra, Gideon, Samson. Remember Samson? Yes. The Philistines thought he was done for when they shaved off his head and gouged out his eyes. Yahweh did not forget him there, my friend. One last attempt. Samson took down the entire temple of Dagon and tons of Philistines with it. Show me one place in the Torah where God allowed hardships to happen but did not do something wonderful through it. I I I see what you're saying. I I understand. No, no no, 
say and believe with me repeat god does not conquer in spite of what happens he conquers through them because he is sovereign and he has a better plan come on everyone come on say with me god does not conquer in spite of what happens god does not conquer in spite of what happens he conquers through them he conquers through them god does not conquer in spite of what happens he conquers through them through them. and that is interesting i never thought of it that way see uh, when did you get so smart <laughs> it might be because of all those night classes with yeshua ah well i'm so sorry i missed them <sighs> see uh nicodemus do you know where the disciples are gathered perhaps we should go and you know visit them i i heard they were uh, um who is it it's me it's mary of bethany open the door please mary mary uh, what are you doing here at this hour What? He's gone. He's not there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did, did, did you see the tomb with your own eyes? Yes. His head scarf was found folded neatly. Oh my god. The linen he was wrapped in was just lying there. Yeshua is not in the tomb. The tomb is empty. The stone has been rolled away. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, but, but what about the soldiers? What about the Roman soldiers? The guards were found unconscious. We women found the place desolate. I just came here as fast as I could to get you to. Why don't you come? Please. Come see for yourself. On this most beautiful and glorious Resurrection Sunday, a question we mustn't forget to ask ourselves. Do we rationalize our faith like Joseph or Nicodemus? Some of you in this room right now might be facing closed doors. Some of you probably have had opportunities fade away. Some of you might be facing the despise of a loved one or a family member. And yet some of you might have had doctor's appointments that have probably turned into your worst nightmare. To you, we say, fasten your eyes on the tomb of Yeshua. The devil tried this very same thing 2,000 years ago. He tried to seal that door for all eternity. But God, through his resurrecting power, broke through that night. And that door remains open to this very day. This very same resurrecting power of God is here with us, for us. God wants to resurrect you, 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 and me out of our situation of death. So will you join me in believing that God will help us conquer, not in spite of what happens, but through everything that happens. Christ, from the dead.